Man, I've been looking for Dak Prescott everywhere. I can't find him. Where's Dak Prescott? Where you at, Dak Prescott? I can't find you anywhere. Doing King Ding Bat here, and I hope you're having a wonderful week and a great Sunday. I had the most amazing thing happen to me today. I'm gonna share with you. Now I was sitting there this morning with my wife, and we we're just chilling, having coffee and whatnot. When the doorbell rings, right? The doorbell rings. I go to open the door. It's this guy sitting there with a case of yogurt. A case of yogurt. He even been eating some, right? And he says to me, "I heard about you last year. I heard about your channel and how you helped." Nelson Aguilar breakout. You had the Where's Nelson Aguilar videos and they broke out and you helped them. Now I need help too. I need help with my accuracy. I can't throw a pass five to ten yards downfield. I can't hit anybody. I, I stink anymore. Can you help me? I'll give you some yogurt. I said, well you're a Cowboys quarterback, Dak Prescott. That's right, Dak Prescott is here right now. And he said, I know, but I need help. And I said, you know what? I'm going to help you because I want the Eagles to beat you guys at your best. So, Dak, why don't you come on and talk to everybody here? Come on. Come on. Come on. He, he don't want to. He's shy. Frank, tell him, Frank, Frank, tell him to get over here. He don't want to, but he knows I help Nelson Aguilar. So, I'm going to help him today with the drill, and we're going to find out what we need to do to fix Dak Prescott's accuracy. We're going to do it. I got a plan. Let's get it started. We're ready to go. So here's what's going to happen so everybody at home knows. All Dak has to do is throw this into the hamper. He gets it three times. We're going on something harder. Dak, are you ready? Yeah. All right. So this is all he has to do. Just fire. One, two, three. Just like Philly 500 did. That simple and we move forward. You ready, Dak? Yeah. Let's go. Now, Dak doesn't want to come on camera. He's a little embarrassed. Hey, put the yogurt down. Stop being on that yogurt. I like the yogurt. I know you like it, but put it down. Come on, man. Just remember, I'm a Cowboys quarterback. All right, he's coming over. Here you go. All right, here's the balls. You got to make three in a row, and we move on something else. You, can you do this? Yeah, I could do this. Okay, you do it. We'll be fine. All right. Okay, Dak's getting ready to go. So here we go. Yo! Oh. That bad one! Nah, you overthrew it! It was the air conditioning! It was the air conditioning! Okay, Dak thinks it's the air conditioning. It wasn't. It wasn't the air. Try yes, again. it was! Uh, I... Oh, Dak, you missed! You missed again! Calm You're down, cheating! Relax! This is... This is... This is bullcrap! This is bullcrap! Wait, don't do this! Just calm down! Yo, they do... Oh. Oh, you missed again, man. Here, one more try for good luck. Uh, this is, I, I know it's good. Forget the yogurt. Eat. Eat later. One more time. Ready? Yeah. Ah, oh, you missed way overthrow. Oh, the hell with this? Dad, calm down. What are you doing? Stop doing the yogurt. Dad, calm down. I keep doing this. This is bullcrap. You cheater. Oh, my God. He left. He ran off. Dad, come here. Come here. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, he just left, he just running off, I can't believe it. he's pissed off, he's flipping out, Dak is flipping out, he's getting in the car, he's driving away, what am I gonna do, where's Dak Prescott, come here Dak, Dak, listen, listen Dak, calm down, stop driving, just pull over, Dak, listen to me, listen to me, where, where you at, Dak, where's Dak Prescott, where you at, listen, come back, come back to the house, don't take off, trust me, trust me, I got you, Listen, I know who to call. I know just the person to call. You got to trust me. Come on back. Dak, don't be upset. So what? You couldn't hit 10-yard pass three times, four times wrong. It don't matter. We're going to work. We're going to fix it. We got a lot of time. It's only May. Dak, just come back. Just come back to the house. Come on, Dak. Where you at? Dak, where you at? Where's Dak Prescott? Where you going, Dak Prescott? Where you at? Come on. Call me back, Dak. Come back. Dak, hello. 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 You hung up. Where's Dak Prescott? I don't know. I got a plan for him, but he's got to come back to the house. But where's Dak Prescott? Where is he at? Where's his arm? 
Where is he at? The great quarterback of all time. Where is he? The greatest Dallas Cup quarterback last year. Where is he at? Where's Dak Prescott? Whew. Man, I've been looking for Dak Prescott everywhere. I can't find him. Where's Dak Prescott? Where you at, Dak Prescott? I can't find you anywhere. I'm looking all over. I can't find you. Give me a call. Let's fix this thing. Where the heck is Dak Prescott? Where'd you go, Dak Prescott? where you go? Anyways, I can't waste my time with that anymore. I want to get to the reason why I was making this video in the first place. And that was basically I was watching the NFL Top 100 today, right? I was watching the NFL Top 100 and I was thinking to myself, they've already put four Eagles in bad positions. They put Lane Johnson and Malcolm Jenkins back to back, which was kind of weird, but like in the 90s, joke. Then they go ahead and put Ertz and Fletcher Cox back to back, which is a joke and a conspiracy maybe that they're putting all the Eagles, they're grouping them together, but whatever. And I was thinking, if Carson Wentz doesn't finish in the top five of this rankings, this thing is bullcrap and it's worthless because he should finish in the top five. So I was thinking that, I went to my computer, I was online, I was watching, I was looking at Bleeding Green Nation and all of a sudden there's a great article and it was about Lewis Riddick who who's been interviewed, I guess, for GM Jobs, and he's an analyst on ESPN. I'll put the link in the description. And he basically was rating and ranking the NFC East quarterbacks. And he was saying that, that you know, he was telling you his rankings for the quarterbacks in the NFC East. He had Carson Wentz 1, which is correct. Then he had Alex Smith number 2. Nick Foles number 3. Then he had Dak Prescott. And Eli Manning. Now, I pretty much agree with this list. The only thing that I disagreed with is Alex Smith ahead of Nick Foles. Because the truth of the matter is, is Alex Smith puts up good numbers during a regular season. I think he had 25 or 26 touchdowns with five interceptions this past year. But Nick Foles wins big games. Nick Foles wins playoff games. When did Alex Smith win big playoff games? He can't. He can't win the big game. Okay, jokes, all right? But Nick Foles, he wins the big games. So I got Nick Foles number two. Now, the reason why they had Eli, and I do agree with this, Eli is older. He's not the same he, that he was. We're not talking about Eli Manning in his prime when he won two Super Bowls, okay? Or he would be higher on this list. Now, if you want to argue and say he's better than Dak Prescott, man, we could have that debate, I guess. It's an interesting debate. I still would probably put Dak ahead of him. You know, as long as Dak ain't throwing between 5 and 10 yards, we're okay. But, um, Foles is definitely number two on that list. I, I think that that's a fair uh, place for Foles to go. And then I would have Alex Smith three. Um, as far as Carson Wentz, and this takes me back to what I initially wanted to talk about when it came to the Eagles today and Carson Wentz, is I wanted to talk about his value. What is Carson Wentz's value? real value value to the eagles value in the league what is it and when you think about it and if you're really honest about it even if you're another team if you're honest about it okay and you take these examples let's say the dallas cowboys call up and they say we'll trade you eagles dak prescott for carson went straight up would the eagles do it no not a chance but if the eagles called up the dallas cowboys and said we'll trade you straight up Carson Wentz for Dak Prescott. Dallas does it in a second. In a second. Okay, in a second. If the Eagles called the Rams and said, we'll give you Carson Wentz for Jared Goff, they do it in a second. Okay, same thing with Tampa. Same thing with uh, Tennessee. Same same thing with every team in the league. And you'll say, well, what, Tom Brady and, and Ben and stuff, they're, they're greats. Yeah, they are. But we're talking about them in their 40s. We're talking about an old Tom Brady right now. We're talking about a Ben Roethlisberger who's year to year. Okay? Those guys are not the same. You can't value them the same. The only guy, there's only one guy in this whole league that I think might you might have to think about you might be able to debate about and you may have an argument for and that's Aaron Rodgers Aaron Rodgers would be the only one but for me I still would not trade Carson Wentz straight up for Aaron Rodgers because of the age because Aaron Rodgers is a lot older now some of you may say well you can't put Carson Wentz that high because he's coming off an injury he's injury prone injury prone 
Didn't he play 16 games last year? Why, he hurt his ribs in the preseason? That don't count. He finished the year, his rookie year, okay? He f played in the championship game in college his last year. So, you, this injury-prone Carson Wentz is injury-prone, I don't buy it, okay? And when you look at his injury and people will say, well, look at RG3. How do you know he's going to come back the same? Because look at RG3. Two different type quarterbacks. RG3, Carson Wentz, two different type quarterbacks. When, if you remember, RG3 came back, okay, it was against the Eagles on Monday night. The one thing that you saw early was that RG3 couldn't run. When the pocket broke down, he couldn't run, he couldn't take off, he was standing there and he didn't know what to do. Because his instinct and what the Redskins did a bad job teaching him how to play quarterback, they told him to run. Instead of teaching him how to play in the pocket, and it hurt him. Okay, Carson, even if he's hindered running and escaping, he is still a pocket passer first. He knows what to do, so he's going to be fine. He will get through it, okay? He may be a little bit rusty in the beginning. He may come out a little slow in the beginning. He may not get his speed back till the, you know, towards the end of the year. But he's still good enough as a pocket passer to light people up and double move off the ass, okay? So... When I look at Carson, he is the most valuable player in the NFL right now in terms of youth, in terms of what he's already done. Most amazing second year I've ever seen uh, a quarterback have. Only Dan Marino, only Dan Marino, Dan Marino is better. Okay, He was about to win MVP in his second year, which were only done by greats until he got hurt. Okay, So Carson Wentz is that good he is that valuable and anybody that thinks the eagles were a one-year wonder 15 minutes of fame you're crazy the eagles are just getting started because they got the franchise quarterback and that's over half the battle with that said take care talk to you later don't be a dingbat